Today, I want to show you how to customize our Christmas cards volume 5. So right now I have up one of the Christmas cards and I want to just go over some of the basic elements of the card. When you pull it up, it'll have a gray box, which is where your photo will go, and it has all these elements and it may have where it says four photos and that's an area where you can add extra photos and I'm also going to show you how you can create your own boxes and add photos so that you can do it any size that you choose. I'm go ahead and turn that off and we have a shape here and this shape can just by double clicking it you can change that shape to any color and that's how the shapes work. And you also have a hue saturation layer right here and you can double click that and change the color to anything you want. And when you see that hue saturation um, and you just move this around and you can also desaturate. You can desaturate all the way or you can pull it up. You can adjust lightness and darkness. I'm going to go ahead and get my layer back up turn that off and you'll also have some of these elements like these vines and when you double click if you want to change the color of the vines you can just double click it and choose color low overlay and then just choose a color you know if you wanted them um, green or something you could just change the color to anything you want and then press cancel cancel and all the layers of course you can also add drop shadows by double clicking it and you can use these different styles to add drop shadows, inner shadows, inner glow. All these are available to you to use however you want. And also this shape has an effects next to it and that is showing the stroke which is that white stroke around it. So if you double click that many of the templates have strokes if you see a line around something it's probably a stroke and you can change that to any color you want to just by clicking on it or moving this up and you can see it changed it to blue go ahead and cancel that and then of course we have our text on every um, template and you'll just click on your text tool and you can change the ch text to anything you want And you can also change the font. Let me come to Window, Character, and you can change it to anything you want. That over here. And you can increase the size. I'm going to just write. And you can change the spacing up and down. And you can make it closer together. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Actually, let's see. Can I come to my history and go all the way back here. Okay, so let's say I wanted to add a photo to this. So I'm going to open up my photo, which I have already done. To open a photo, you just do File, Open, and then you would browse to your photo that you want to use. But I've already done that, so I'm just going to drag my photo in. One thing that I've liked, I like to start doing now that they have smart objects is I like to right-click my image when I bring it in and convert it to a smart object. That way, if I keep resizing it, it's not going to lose any of its quality based on the resizing. So I kind of like doing that. So let me go ahead and pull my layers up here so I can see what I'm doing. I want to put this right above where it says clip large photo here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. You want to make sure you have auto select layer and show transform controls on. And then I'm just going to press shift and drag this out. And I'm just going to use my arrow keys to get it where I want it. Press enter. And if you want it to um, go a little bit faster, you can press your shift key while you're, while you're arrowing it and it'll move faster. And then I'm going to right click it and click down here, 
can't see it, but it says create clipping mask. There's my photo in place. And then I can come down and customize it further. I could change the color. Okay, so I can change my color. And let's say I wanted it to be the same blue that's in his hat. I can just keep moving it until I feel like it matches. And it's completely customized now. Now I want to show you what you would do if you had several photos.